Genocide. As defined by Merriam-Webster, genocide is the deliberate killing of people who belong to a particular racial, ethnic, or religious group. The most famous genocide in world history is the Holocaust of European Jews by the Nazi Party during World War II. However, many genocides have happened since then. Yugoslavia is a multicultural nation in the Balkan Mountains of East Europe that existed from 1918 until 2003. Since Yugoslavia consisted of many different cultural, ethnic, and religious groups, there were many conflicts between these groups, particularly between the Muslim and Christian populations. In 1989, it was estimated that nearly 20% of the Yugoslav population was Muslim, primarily located in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Albanian province of Kosovo. Tensions between the Islamic and Christian communities have been present since the formation of the country in 1918. However, these tensions increased greatly during and after World War II. This is when the first genocide of Muslims in Bosnia began. After a brief period of relative peace between the two religions, circumstances once again worsened for the Bosnian Muslims in the early 1980s, when the effort to reassert Islamic culture was made after the death of longtime Yugoslav leader Josip Tito Broz. In April of 1992, Bosnia and Herzegovina declared independence from the country of Yugoslavia. The majority of Muslim population felt as though this newfound independence would free them from the persecution they faced by their Christian neighbors in Serbia and Croatia. They could not be more wrong. Shortly after the Bosnian independence, Slobodan Milosevic, the newly risen Yugoslav leader, planted seeds of discontent and nationalism in the minds of Christian Serbs in the Muslim-dominated regions of the Balkans. As a result, the largely Catholic Serb Yugoslav army viciously targeted and attacked Bosnian Muslims and the Croat ethnic group. By late 1993, the Yugoslav army occupied most of Bosnia, and the majority of the Croat and Muslim populations have been eliminated or expelled from the country and into concentration camps. By 1995, only three cities remained in control of the Bosnian government. However, by the end of the summer, these cities had been taken over by the Yugoslav army and turned into mass killing sites where boys and men were executed and women and girls were tortured and raped. The largest of these mass killing sites was Srebrenica, where the, an estimated 8,000 Bosnian Muslims were killed, making this the largest massacre since the Holocaust. As was observed with the Holocaust, little was done by the international community to initially prevent the atrocities of this genocide of Muslims and Croats. Eventually, the United Nations stepped in and put an end to the crimes committed by the Yugoslav government and army, as well as actively sought a way to enforce justice on those who had committed these crimes. Over the next two decades, the United Nations convicted over 160 people of war crimes and crimes of genocide. Slobodan Milosevic was accused of crimes against humanity, the first person to be accused of this since Adolf Hitler. However, Milosevic died in his prison cell in 2006 before his trial could be concluded. Despite the peacekeeping efforts of the United Nations, many Bosnian and Yugoslavian families were torn apart by this genocide. An estimated 100,000 people were killed between 1992 and 1995, 80% of which were Bosnian Muslims. Also, an astounding number of Bosnians and other Yugoslavs immigrated out of the Balkans in order to seek refuge. Unfortunately, the only solution to this three-year-long mass murder of Bosnian Muslims was a tragic bombing and relentless peace negotiations, many of which left the people of Yugoslavia even more bitter and separated than they were before the genocide.